We all could use some new anime for a change. You're running out of stuff to watch, and you came here to search for something new. Well, since we're about halfway through the current season, Summer 2024 is approaching slowly, and it's time to recommend the most anticipated anime of Summer 2024. Sit back and let's see what we have in stock today. <laughs> Starting this list off with How to Become Ordinary, from the creator of Hayoka, a stunning anime that was released back in 2012. This new anime, however, is a story of two high school students who wish to have a peaceful, ordinary life. However, strange incidents or events randomly pop into their daily lives that prevent these two from having the ordinary life that they want together. And to, you know, they just try to solve this mystery in the hopes of achieving their dream goal. Elf Girls, Etchy, Food and Thickness. This pretty much summarizes the entire anime because you are in it for a big treat if you choose to watch this anime. <laughs> Elf Can't Be On A Diet is about an elf girl who left her other world in search for tasty, delicious food, and she so happens to find what she's looking for in modern-day Japan. Now she has become so thick, going on a diet is really too hard for her, and she really can't stop eating junk food. However, her massage therapist, Naue, wants to help her through exercise and weight loss, but I just really wonder how things will go for these two. <laughs> Now we're moving on to one of my most anticipated romance anime airing this summer. Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian is an anime you should definitely consider checking out when it starts. A beautiful high school Russian girl likes a boy in her class and talks to him dirty in Russian by confessing her feelings. She does this because she's really too shy to tell him in Japanese as he won't really understand what she's saying. However, the kicker is, the guy does understand Russian, but he just won't tell her anything because he sure enjoys it when she talks dirty to him. Wholesome and funny is what you'll get from watching this anime, and I'm all in for it. Heading back to school in a magical academy with wands and spells. However, the protagonist can't really use any of what I just said. Wistoria's wand and sword features a character who is unable to use magic, but perfectly excels majorly in sword close combat instead of using magic. It's kind of like martial magic and muscles. Wistoria wishes to become the greatest magician and sit on top of the wizard tower. And students are actually free to enter the tower, and inside is a dungeon where they fight monsters, earn currency to spend. It all sounds pretty cool, and I'm excited to see how this one is gonna go. The heroic legend named Sid, who has led humans to victory in a battle against other races in this era. Civilization seems to be going great. However, one day the protagonist Kai witnessed the world around him change as he was sent to a different era, a world where Sid was absent and because of that, humanity has lost the war. Now mighty beasts rule these lands, but it does appear like Kai actually inherits the powers of Sid so he can now attempt to save humanity and lead them to victory himself. Now, if you're a big fan of Ari Furetta from Commonplace of the World's Strongest, which I'm pretty sure you are, then this anime actually comes pretty close in similarities because the concept is very equal. <laughs> An entire class being summoned into the world by the goddess to become heroes, she allowed each one of them to select skills from a tree, but poor Momori, the protagonist, was last to pick, and he was left with trash-looking status effect skills that looked so weak. Out of pity, the goddess actually decides to get rid of him by sending him to the dungeon levels with monsters where no one will surely survive, yet it turns out that his status effect skills were super overpowered and now makes his way to the surface to seek vengeance on the goddess who betrayed him. <laughs> so you guys know how going to another world, usually you're really unable to go to another one afterwards. No matter how much you hate it or dislike it, the world you are sent to is where you're gonna belong. 
That's the case here with the protagonist Dazai, Isekai to another world in the early period of 1948. Video games weren't even invented, and it's a completely lost cause for the stuff that he likes. He wants to find the perfect place to die and go to another world, but sadly, no matter what happens to him, he always turns out okay in the end, because he cannot die once again. Now finally, the return of the longest running shonen anime, and this time, this is the awaited sequel after Fairy Tail last ended a few years back. 100 Years Quest is airing next season, baby. <laughs> It's been so long, man. I remember watching and starting Fairy Tale when it was just over 200 episodes, catching up completely and then finishing it. Now, the awaited sequel is here and the story will continue and things are about to be even more epic. The mission to seal away five dragon gods is about to commence. <laughs> Tower of God Season 2. Okay, now I know many have been waiting for this anime, and it's almost time to witness, hopefully, greatness. Now, granted, people actually like the show, but I kinda had mixed feelings of it from the beginning, especially with the protagonist Bam being kinda useless in the first season. Though many are saying this is where his powers will show its true colors, and I'm really hoping to see something insane in this sequel. But nevertheless, I'm still looking forward to this anime, and I'll be watching it for sure. <laughs> Now, last up on our recommendation list, Oshinoko or My Star Season 2 is airing this summer of 2024. This reincarnation anime sends shivers down my spine, I'm not gonna lie. But I also really do appreciate the overall build-up and structure this anime has. It does wonders, I tell you. The progression keeps getting better and better. There's not much information on the second season, so I don't really know what we'll cover, you know, or what arc what it's gonna be about, but I'm, I'm just excited, I'm just telling you all that. But including myself, a lot of people are very much looking forward to this anime. One of the best drama supernatural there is out there. Thank you all so much for watching all the way to the very end. As always, subscribe if you did enjoy, and let me know down below which anime in summer 2024 you are looking forward to the most. Thanks for watching, and I'll be catching you all in the next one.